this is Bill Cunningham from uh, Fifth Avenue and Westbury, Long Island. And I'm here to tell you that the visitors, the tourists, are looking around and asking who died. The New Yorkers are all dressed in black. And it's sizzling. It didn't mean a thing. They were all in black. But the most curious sight are two people who pass on their way to work in the morning. And they're always in black and a very loose, billowy clothes. And uh, I finally had to ask who they were. It drove me nuts every morning. Uh, And they just met crossing uh, Fifth Avenue. Uh, They didn't know each other, but uh, they were so enamored by each other's style of dress. So now they stop and have a big conversation. And the lady is a woman by the name of Marjorie Stern, and she is a philanthropist. And the man is an artist and a designer, but they both have this style that even turns the head of jaded New Yorkers. I mean, it's not, you couldn't pull this off in Chicago even. I mean, people, they'd put you away. The uh, artist is a man by the name of Timothy John, and he uh, collects 19th century Asian men's clothes, particularly Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. And he doesn't wear them because they're too fragile, but he adapts new pieces, especially from a house by the name of Isimiyaki. And uh, Mrs. Stern <clears throat> wears black and then often accents it with gunmetal gray. What each has in common in this heat are very diaphanous fabrics, shawls and scarves that they wrap around. I never saw anything like this in Paris. That's the wonderful thing about New York, the liberty of wearing things and not caring what the neighbors have to say when they see you. The last word on exotic black, I thought, belonged to the old Westbury Gardens, the former Phipps estate, now a public garden, in Westbury, Long Island. And there the black irises. If you want to see something exotic, just rows of black iris. Nature really triumphs. Even the New Yorkers couldn't outbeat that. It shows you the interest of fashion and what it can do to your life when you get dressed in the morning. So I hope you enjoy this little bit of the exotic side of New York. And as one lady on her uh, tote bag said, style to the people.